From WXII, the Piedmont station for news, this is a Newswatch 12 update. Hello, I'm Ann Generelli. Tonight at 11, meet a local family who adopted a child even though they know they may never see him grow up. And that's Coming up next, startling news about AIDS in North Carolina and the story of a family who opened their hearts to an innocent victim of the disease. Plus, Saddam Hussein offers to give away free oil and the reigning Miss America speaks out. It's all just ahead on Newswatch 12 at 11. Margaret Johnson with news. Weekends on Newswatch 12. Johnson. President Bush remains hospitalized tonight for treatment of an irregular heartbeat. We'll have the latest on his condition at 11. On a happier note, thousands of people show up to express their appreciation for Desert Storm Commander Norman Schwarzkopf, and we'll hear from some area college graduates who are cutting their own path to success. It's all coming up tonight at 11. Good evening. Coming up next... Doctors consider other options after President Bush fails to respond to heart medication. Area authorities search for a suspect in a Greensboro murder. Thousands turn out in Florida to welcome home Storm and Norman Schwarzkopf. Plus the success stories of some area college graduates. Newswatch 12 is next. Scowcroft, Powell, Baker. Bob Woodward, author of Commanders, with the inside story on George Bush's power players beginning Monday morning on Today. XII, the one to watch. And now, Frank Buckley, Margaret Johnson, Chris Runge with weather, and Dave Gorin with sports. This is News Watch 12 at 11. Good evening. President Bush is not responding to heart medication, and tomorrow doctors may have to try something different. Tonight, the White Ahead, Chris with the Workweek forecast. And NASA gears up for yet another shuttle mission. Stay with us. Good evening, I'm Bill Copal. And I'm Sandra Hughes. Coming up next on News 2 tonight, these policemen patrol the project. Residents speak out on whether they make a difference. And this Marine talks about life in the Saudi Arabian desert. These stories and more next on News 2 tonight. A Greensboro man is killed in a boat race. The story tonight. Mrs. Helms. Health insurance tips Monday on the Good Morning Show. Cole Porter's magical musical is a movie classic. Katherine Grayson and Howard Keel star in Kiss Me Kate, next on Cinemax. I'm Tony Manolfi, coming up, Fox 11, News at 10. Controversy in Logan County Schools leads to a possible lawsuit against the school system. I'm Jack Kane. We've got the story first on Fox, then a verdict is reached in the Jenny Jones talk show slaying. Jonathan Schmitz has been found guilty. These stories plus weather and sports tonight on the Fox 11 News at 10. Change. Here's a weather tip from meteorologist Philip Williams. Tornado watch, tornado warning. Do you know the difference? Watch means tornadoes could develop. Warning means a tornado has been sighted. Take shelter immediately. Remember, watch, take caution, warning, take action, and stay tuned to Weather Center 9. Today, coming up on the first of news, some tension over a newspaper article in Kenston, the debate is between the county commission and the man who acts as go-between with the global trans park. And a drug sweep put a lot of crack cocaine in the police evidence locker and five people behind bars. Those stories and more next on News Center 9. Voted Best Newscast by the Radio Television News Directors Association of the Carolinas. This is WNCT-TV Greenville. First in news with Alan Huffman, meteorologist Philip Williams, and Brian Bailey with sports. This is News Center 9, 11 o'clock report. Hello, everyone.
everyone. I'm Alan Hoffman. Thanks for joining us on the First in News tonight. A bit of controversy in... First in News. This is WNCT-TV Greenville. Catch the A-Team Monday at 4 here on Channel 13. <laughs> Learn how to protect your children from AIDS tonight on the Night Beat. On the next American Journal, he won an election to get his job. Now, some of his employees say they are scared to death. I certainly hope, you know, nothing terrible happens. Why are they so afraid of him? Watch the next American Journal. Today at 5 on TV4. watching NBC 17. And now, Donna Gregory, the one to watch. Byron Day, the one to watch. The following is a paper. In 1997, NBC 17 was there for the joy, the sorrow, the surprises, the triumphs. We were there for the disappointments, the hopes, warm welcomes, and the sad goodbyes. If it happened in 1997, you saw it on NBC 17. And in 1998, when news happens, we'll be there again. NBC 17, the one to watch. The Triangle, best place to live in America. This is our home. NBC 17, the one to watch for. Donna Gregory, Byron Day, Bobby Estel, Lisa Spencer. In today's world, it takes a team this good, a commitment this big, and someone you trust this much. This is NBC 17, the one to watch. Kelsey Graham. A coach has called for a foul because of his breath. The story at 11. Two minutes. That's all it takes for fire to engulf a mobile home. There's only one thing you can do to protect yourself. Monday at 6, we'll show you what it is. Then at 11. Raise, raise, keep your head down. Your plane's in jeopardy. You think if it crashes, no one's going to live. That where you sit and what you wear has nothing to do with your survival. Find out just how wrong you are. Watch Get Out Alive, Monday, only on News 2. New tonight on WFMY News 2. I think this, the safety uh, of the aircraft is better than it ever has been. The TSA director and travelers weigh in on airport screeners during the Thanksgiving holiday. Did the tougher security measures affect customer service? Details in a live report, plus your work we forecast after the movie. This is WFMY News 2 at 11 o'clock. Thousands packed PTI for the great return back home. Good evening, I'm Jayla Anderson. Thanks for staying up with us tonight. Airport forecasting you can count on from WRAL TV 5 News. I like the fact that they're always on the spot for any late breaking news. The accuracy in the weather is something that I can count on. They're versatile, they're all over North Carolina. They are helping the community, and it shows when you watch coverage you can count on the forecast from the WRAL TV 5 weather center hello this is Greg Sherrod a report by the Florida Chamber Foundation shows only two of ten students who enter high school will go on to earn bachelor degrees due in part if Florida isn't keeping pace with the changing demands of the economy and is slipping behind its competition in sports, Atlanta Braves pitcher Greg Maddox hopes to make his first start of the season this weekend when the Braves play the Marlins. A hip injury has forced Maddox to miss his first two scheduled starts. Stay with us. Your local forecast is next. Hello, I'm Jeremy Wheeler for your Fox 28 Weather Vision forecast. Tonight's forecast, more rain is coming down. We have that cold front to the north, and finally, I think by tomorrow afternoon, it will... Fox 28, what TV should be. You're watching live coverage of Stormtrack 7 Street by Street Doppler Radar.
You're watching News Channel 7 at 10 with Paul Joseph, Jennifer Elmore, and Greg Majeski with Storm Track 7 Weather. News Channel 7 at 10. Hi, folks. From the opening bell to the close, the stock market is often a roller coaster ride and almost always confusing. I'm News Channel 7 started financial consultant Robert Dockett. Each day at noon, you'll get the latest right here from Wall Street. News Channel 7's Viper is brought to you in part by our community partner, Peden Air Conditioning and Heating. Mm -hmm. Viper? Mm -hmm. Trapped on a remote island with the perfect killing machine. Blockbuster Shockwave Cinema presents Primal Force. Tonight at 8 on UPN 47. News 2, working for Piedmont people. Working for Piedmont people. Coming up on Good Morning Jacksonville, Saturday, they're cute, cuddly, and incredibly irresistible. But before you decide between buying this Easter Bunny or this one, our Good Morning Jacksonville pet vet has some things you need to know. Plus, we'll take you to the popcorn capital of the world. That's all coming up at 8 a.m. on Good Morning Jacksonville, Saturday. You're watching WJCT Public Television, Jacksonville. Tonight on The Late Show, Warren Beatty, Julie Christie, and Goldie Hawn star in Shampoo. Sure, I'd like to see a weather forecast for this part of the country. And yeah, even for my town. But when the big storms hit, I want to know what's happening right here on my street. You want it. You got it. 12 News Doppler 12,000. It's live. It's powerful. It's precise. No other station has more advanced storm tracking equipment. And the people you know and trust bringing the weather home to you. The Doppler 12,000 Advantage. Only from your 12 News Storm Track team. Right there on your street. It's the incredible. Remember, you're watching Channel 4, the local station. Live with Adrian Moore. Kent Justice, the Weather Authority forecast with Rebecca Barry, and sports with Michael Kelly. Channel 4 News continues. Live coverage you can count on. This is CBS 47 Action News at 11. Leading the way, this is the Wabash Valley's most watched newscast with Patrice Dayton. Meteorologist Kevin Orpert and Rick Semler Sports. This is News 10 at 10 on My Fox 10. Good evening and welcome to News 10. Steve Cashel tonight on WGH Piedmont News. Carol Andrews tonight on WGH Piedmont News. The Donna Bracken tonight on WGH Piedmont News. Next week on the American Agenda, drug rehab behind bars is cleaning up convicts, plus making your kids great at math. Watch Peter Jennings on ABC's World News tonight next week. It changes. It's always changing. It's, it's fantastic. There's nothing more interesting than weather. I get up at 3 o'clock in the morning. The first thing I do is go to the living room window and look out and uh, see what's, what's going on out there. I know how important it is to people that live in communities to to know people aren't overlooking their town. The things that would affect me and would affect other people. How are you going to plan your day? And of course the weather is going to play a part of that. Have you? 11 at 11, only on the Piedmont Tonight. You're watching North Central Florida's public TV station, UFT Channel 5, Gainesville. More cash and less gas. That story is tonight at 11.
with this news break. Hello, I'm Deborah Giannolis. Coming up on the late news, a man with a history in Jacksonville Public Schools is coming back to lead them. Dr. Larry Zanke was unanimously selected to replace Superintendent Herb Sang tonight and immediately accepted the job. The nation's drug czar, William Bennett, is taking some extraordinary steps to fight drugs in the capital city, saying the government needs to know what works. And a multi-million dollar maritime theme park is being proposed for the downtown Jacksonville waterfront. Join Nancy Rubin and me tonight at 11 o'clock. More people watch Channel 4's Eyewitness News than all the other local newscasts combined. Thanks for keeping us your one and only. Now, Channel 4's Eyewitness News, the number one news with Tom Wills, Deborah Giannolis, meteorologist George Wendling with weather, Sam Kavaris with sports, and the Eyewitness News team. Good evening. Hi, I'm Mike Berger in the Channel 6 Weather Center. I want to remind you that we'll be here every 30 minutes tonight uh, and through the morning hours, keeping an eye on Tropical Storm Keith for you. If you don't have to go out, just don't go out. The road conditions are terrible and getting worse. Let me show you what I mean. Erosion is one of the biggest problems here on the beach. Whenever the weather causes you concern, remember the station with the proof of performance. WCPX, Channel 6 News, on your side. This is CBS. The news that helps you live your life better. 5.30 Live. Hello, I'm Michelle Murrow. Congressman Bill Chappell lost the race for his congressional district, and tonight he apparently lost his cool at a local press conference. He also plans on taking Campaign 88 to court. They're launching a new company in Brevard County, one that literally reaches for the stars with rockets. Ben and Michelle, your 530 Live anchors on Channel 6. The TV20 Horror Department is proud to present the... WCJB TV, Gainesville, Lake City, Ocala. WCJB TV, Gainesville, Lake City, Ocala. A spray a day keeps the calories away. Next week on PM Magazine, we'll look at a new diet spray that gives you a taste of foods you crave so you don't want them for real. Then, Marilyn Beck goes out on a limb with Shirley MacLaine. She tells how dallying with the spirits has helped her discover some past lives. And fame is the name of our game for our PM poll. America votes for the most famous showbiz person of all time. Join us all next week at 7 right here on TV6. Last week, Channel 6 aired a special preview of Honeymoon Hotel. Thousands of you made the effort to express your opinions about the show. We sincerely appreciate your input. And the results of this survey are now being analyzed. By the way, we'll preview another program next week, and again we'll be asking for your opinion. The decision on what show to run next fall will be based on listening to you, our viewers. We're listening to you because we want Channel 6 to be your station. We'll show you Elvis fans in Central Florida at 11 o'clock. From Newswatch 6, this is Newsbreak. Good evening, I'm Mary Hamill. There's word tonight that Soviet and American armed negotiators may resume their talks in Geneva next week, but the White House tonight will not confirm that report. Ellen has made a tremendous difference in this community. Someone to believe in. Someone who cares. And someone to reach out to. It's one thing to say we care about the community. But it's another thing to really act upon that. And Channel 6 does that. And that's why I came here. I'm glad Ellen's at this station. Ellen belongs at this station. 
someone to believe in. Action 6 reporter Ellen McFarlane on Newswatch 6. We now return to the CBS Saturday movie, The Return of Sherlock Holmes. This is WCPX-TV, Orlando, Florida. We now re Eyewitness News on Fox 18, tonight at 10. Well, we're back. It's the look on Sean's face when he hits a big home run with help from his Little League friends. And the day when neighbors come back together to take back their home turf. Or it's a special kind of teacher who can bring home the joy of learning. These may not have been the biggest stories of the day, but we thought they were important because what's happening in your life is the best news of all. We're News Channel 4, your home team for news. Current conditions from the Storm Team 13 Live Dual Doppler in Panama City. This is how weather forecasters used to get their weather information. This is how we forecast the weather now with the Storm Team 13 Live Dual Doppler. Stronger thunderstorm activity developing in that area. All shifting towards Ebro should be there in the Ebro area within the next 10 minutes. Chipley High School up close tonight at 10. Coming up on News 13 at 10. A new surgical technique could treat uterine fibroids in women without a hysterectomy. Deprived of their blood supply, these fibroids will die and decrease in size and become asymptomatic. Find out how a tiny tube the size of a spaghetti noodle could save about 200,000 women from major surgery. These stories and more tonight at 10. Watch News 13, your news station for these stories and more. Hi, I'm Rick Thompson. Investigating the stories that matter to you, live from Columbia in high definition, this is WIS News 10. Good morning to you and thank you. You're watching ABC News Channel 20, Nightside. With Vince Dementry, Liz Foster, Chief Meteorologist Rick Kirby, and Sports with Donnie Tillman. This is ABC News Channel 20, Nightside. New information covering Western Georgia and East Alabama. This is News 3 Evening Edition. It has From your local source, WCJB TV 20, this is TV 20 News at 6. We start tonight with a developing story out of Gilchrist County. Where's your money going? <laughs> I'm just not going to be probed by you. For a year, Channel 5's hidden cameras capture the government wasting tax dollars, exposing politicians playing when they could have been working, and uncovering dollars disappearing down the drain. I, uh, I wasn't aware of it. Trust Unit 5. We're the experts at keeping an eye on your money. We don't just watch waste, we stop it. And just wait till you see what's next. After all, it's your money, and we'll find it on 5. Right now on News 3 Live at 5, tax dollar waste, free rides on Metro Police helicopters, the list of hundreds who got flights that you paid for. Fighting for a fugitive, a mother fights to see her son shot by police last week as Metro releases new details about what happened. And taxing medical marijuana sales. The Nevada Tax Commission weighs in on who will share in the profits. News 3 Live at 5 starts right now. Live at 5 with Jessica Moore and Jim Snyder. This is News 3. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for having us in tonight. We be the Ed Bernstein Show, Las Vegas' most popular local TV show. Renowned attorney, a valued community leader. The Ed Bernstein Show, Sundays at 3 p.m. on Channel 3. This is my... Las Vegas ha sido mi hogar por más de 11 años. He tenido el privilegio de cubrir las noticias más impactantes en esta gran ciudad y a través de ellas me he unido mucho más a la comunidad que servimos. He dedicado mi vida al periodismo. Sigo siendo su servidor desde esta, mi nueva casa periodística. Soy Hernando Amaya y somos Noticias Mundo Fox, Las Vegas. 
Las opiniones expresadas en el siguiente programa pagado no necesariamente reflejan el punto de vista del personal y o la gerencia de KMCC. Mundo Fox Las Vegas 34. Las Vegas siempre ha sido una ciudad muy especial para mí desde que vine a trabajar en el año 2002. Pero lo que más me impresionó fue la aceptación y el calor humano que recibí. Desde que se me propuso regresar a presentar las noticias para Mundo Fox Las Vegas, me he reunido con la comunidad y los he escuchado. Ojalá este esfuerzo sea digno de su aceptación. Soy Ricardo Fernández. Somos Noticias Mundo Fox Las Vegas. This February, News 3 was Nevada's most watched news. With more viewers in the morning, afternoon, evening, and late evening, there's only one number one. News 3, Nevada's most watched news. Hi, Tom. Rory and Amy are political heavyweights. This is completely uncensored, honest commentary. Insightful. There are at least two sides to every argument. Pointed. Rory cares about the state of Nevada, however, He's clearly off base. Direct. I've been having a conversation with Amy. I just think she's wrong. They are at opposite ends of the spectrum, and you're going to hear that. You can learn a lot from people you don't agree with. That's why we're asking, what's your point? Let's take a look at what's coming up on Fox 5 News this morning. Live from Las Vegas, Fox 5 News this morning starts right now. The Las Vegas Sands Corporation website has been hacked. Tell you what. Watching Fox 5 News this morning with Stephanie J, John Dapkovich, Monica Jackson, and Jason Feinberg. Weather 24 7 with Cassandra Jones and traffic solutions with Chris Brown. Good morning, Las Vegas. This is your Fox 5 Morning News team. UNLV's Hotel College is getting some financial help from Jeff. En vivo, desde Los Ángeles, el periodista número uno de la televisión hispana. Esto es Noticiero Cierre de Edición con Enrique Gratas. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo están? Buenas noches. Bienvenidos a Cierre de Edición con el panorama... a un bombero al estar cumpliendo con su trabajo. Arrestan a una mujer que amenazó con atacar un colegio. Un enfrentamiento cobra la vida de una persona en Westmont. George Clooney cumple su promesa. Y en los deportes, el gran momento de Giovanni Dos Santos. Muy buenas tardes, mi nombre es Ricardo Torres y les saludo con mucho gusto a nombre de Roberto Ruiz, titular de este espacio informativo. Hoy iniciamos en Chula Vista, donde un policía puso a las esposas a un bombero. Sí, así como lo... Hoy esto es lo más importante. Ellas son estadounidenses, pero sus esposos no, y fueron deportados. John Boehner duda que haya reforma migratoria este año. Mientras el presidente Obama reza por la libertad, pero religiosa. Emergencia en Nueva York por la acumulación de nieve y la falta de sal. 
Desapareció hace casi 25 años y apenas logró identificar al presunto sospechoso. Y hay una réplica del Super Bowl 48, pero de juguete. Hola, ¿qué tal? Buenas tardes. Qué bueno que está con nosotros. Soy Juan Carlos Barajas en ausencia de Alejandro Villalbaz. Live at 3 with Reed Cowan. This is News 3. Good afternoon today. New video of a Clark County Detention Center inmate struggling. Live at 4 with Marie Mortera and Jeff Gillen. This is News 3. And we thank you for joining us. 27 puppies left to die in a... Live at 6 with Gerard Romolo. This is News 3. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. The layoffs of five North Las Vegas managers are part of. And now, Ralston Reports with John Ralston. Welcome to Ralston Reports. We'll bring you newsmakers and commentary you won't find anywhere else. Let's start. Intravisión presenta. Cuidado al momento de regresar llamadas a teléfonos desconocidos porque podría caer víctima de una nueva estafa. El gobierno federal le declara la guerra al consumo de tabaco entre los jóvenes y lanza una campaña. Las escuelas charter ganan terreno en Las Vegas. ¿Por qué y cómo funcionan? Le tenemos un reportaje especial. Organizaciones de inmigrantes le hacen una petición especial al Departamento de Seguridad Nacional de la Administración Obama para que detenga las deportaciones. Ampliamos con más detalles más adelante desde Washington. La declaración de esta pastora ha desatado toda una controversia a nivel internacional. Investigamos en nuestra serie especial Pastores o Mercaderes. Por primera vez compañías como Yahoo, Google y Facebook comparten información con el gobierno federal. Mucha de esta podría ser sus datos personales. Noticias Univisión Nevada a las 6 con Marta Saldaña y Florentino Mesa. Muy buenas tardes y gracias por su sintonía. Iniciamos con las noticias. Buenas noches, bienvenidos. Los saluda servidor de ustedes, Ángel Covarrubias. Gracias por acompañarnos. La música que... El náufrago que aseguró haber sobrevivido 13 meses en alta mar cuenta su historia. Noticias Univisión Nevada a las 11 con Florentino Mesa. Tengan ustedes muy buenas noches, sean bienvenidos a la información. Incredible cage-free swim through shark-infested waters from Cuba to Florida. Those stories and much more in just a few minutes. is the KUSI News at 6. Good evening, I'm Sandra Moss. And I'm Alan Denton. Thanks for joining us tonight. Neighbors say they heard an endless stream of bullets tonight. This is the KUSI News at 6.30. Good evening and welcome to the KUSI News at 6.30. I'm Alan Denton. And I'm Sandra Moss. Thank you for joining us tonight. Coming up on the KUSI News at 10, people living in the Mount Helix area are still being told they cannot go home tonight. That's because of a SWAT standoff involving a heavily armed man, a standoff that is now dragging into the night. I'm Sasha Fu. I'll have a live report. On this holiday weekend, the heat drives huge crowds to San Diego beaches. Tonight, highlights from Labor Day weekend, Southern California style. And President Obama is trying to sell his plan for attacking Syria to Congress. Those stories and more right now on the KUSI News at 10. This is the KUSI News at 10. Good evening, I'm Sandra Moss. And I'm Alan Denton. Thanks for joining us. Tonight, residents of a La Mesa neighborhood have been told not to leave their houses. While This is the KUSI News at 11. That's right, it is 11 o'clock. Good evening, and thank you for staying up late with us here on KUSI. Well, tomorrow is a big day. News with Kathleen Bain. Weeknights on Fox 5 News. King's... I had nowhere to go, and I'm like, I go in the middle of the intersection, I die too, it's just like, what are you doing? Trapped at an intersection, the local signal light stopped and had motorists in a panic as an Amtrak train bared down and then slammed into a truck. A parrot head night, we dive into the fan excitement at the belly up as iconic performer Jimmy Buffett takes the stage. 
and banning the Stars and Stripes, the pending court decision that could find the American flag to be offensive in some situations on American soil. We'll have your comments. Good evening, and thanks for joining us. I'm Jim Patton. Imagine being trapped at a signal light with a train coming tonight. San Diego 6 News at 10. The surfing Madonna.